had the upgrade of Neurontin or is it the same goddamn thing? When I go to the pharmacy, he said, since you don't have insurance, why the fuck would you pay so much for Lyrica? It's nine times the price and pretty much the same thing as Neurontin. I want an upgrade of Neurontin. Pfizer had a hit with the anti-convulsant Neurontin after they discovered that it helps lift people's mood. After seven years, the patent for any medication runs out, making it so any company can make it, and the company that made it first off can't charge the high price that they did back when only they made it. After seven years, if the company considers it profitable to do so, they'll remake their medication so that they can sell it for once again the high prices that only they can sell it for such as Ambien after their expiration ran out came up with Ambien CR because Neurontin was a hit after the seven year patent ran out Pfizer decided it would be profitable to remake the drug and call it Lyrica the chemical structure is different but similar the feeling according to people is different but similar and I intend to find out what the difference is. Neurontin's been around for or about 10 years and the action it has in the brain is still unknown. So chances are pregabalin Lyrica is years away from being understood as well. So chances are pregabalin Lyrica is years away from being understood as well. Alpha 2 Delta 1 is a membrane spanning auxiliary protein subnet of voltage gated calcium channels found in muscle and brain. Dense Alpha 2 Delta 1 staining in the brain and spinal cord are where neurotin and free gabolin's place of action are thought to happen. But that still doesn't explain why it has a mood lifting, pain killing, and anti convulsant effect, which it undoubtedly has. It's still a mystery to science. Let me just read the chemical names. Aminomethyl cyclohexyl acetic acid. That being neurotin gabapentin. S3 aminomethyl 5-methyl hexanoic acid. That being Lyrica. This will probably change, but on Earwood, there's no experiences for pre gabalin and that's probably because it's so expensive. Gabapentin, on the other hand, I found that there's plenty of experiences. I read some of them, and most of them sound like a correct description of what Neurontin feels like. Whether it's PubMed, nursing journals, or Wikipedia, it always groups their actions together. Like Gabapentin, pre gabalin does this. I can't really find any written differences of what it does. The only difference I can seem to find is that pre gabalin is scheduled 5, whereas Neurontin is unscheduled. Before I tell you about pre gabalin I'm going to tell you a little bit about Neurontin. For most, Neurontin is known for making people tired, but for a strange few, it's connected to hyperactivity, and I'm one of those. When I take Neurontin, I get sped up, and I think there is a dopamine action that isn't looked into, because only a rare few get hyperactivity. It feels, you know, a little less extreme than speed, but a little more of an effect than coffee. 1200 milligrams is the dose that I find proper for taking with Neurontin. Any more makes me kind of dizzy and doesn't feel good. Any less, I don't feel at all. I take it twice a week, I find you get a tolerance to it. If you take it every day, you don't feel it. If you take it twice a week, you do feel it. Facts about Neuron. Facts you didn't know. Alcohol intensifies the effects of gabapentin, but the reverse is not true. Gabapentin doesn't increase the effect of alcohol. I can take Neurontin and still drink like 30 beers just like I could have if I didn't take Neurontin. It also, to sum up this, what this is saying here is uh, Neurontin increases the effect of opiates, but you got to take it two hours before you take the opiate because Neurontin takes about four hours to work. I have no fucking clue where I read this, but uh, somewhere it says in like um, a nursing guide, if you take the amount of Neurontin to where you feel like you've dr you're drunk, 
you've taken too much Neurontin. But I disagree. If you've taken enough Neurontin that you feel like you're drunk, you've taken the right amount of Neurontin. I love that euphoria is listed as an adverse side effect of pregabalin. Oh, I didn't notice it at first, but Neurontin is a pretty hearty painkiller. Neurontin treats the pain of herpes. Wow. You know, Neurontin actually does work as a painkiller. One time I got it when I first started taking it, and the prescription guy said, uh, you're taking a painkiller. I was like, eh, that's kind of weird. But I noticed one day when I had liver pain after drinking too much, it took away the pain. When I eat, sometimes I'll get stoned and eat so fucking much that I'll feel like my colon is going to fucking explode, and I take Neurontin, and it kind of eases the pain of that. After taking a full bottle of Lyrica, I can tell that the effect on your brain is exactly the same. I'm an expert. I can pick up the smallest chemical change going on in my brain. Now the chemicals are different. They're actually quite a bit different. But the action it has on your brain is exactly the same. And I can tell this. You can trust me. I'm an expert. So they haven't upgraded Neurontin. They just changed the chemical around differently. And because there is a chemical difference, that doesn't mean it's going to have any different effect on your brain. And apparently it doesn't. So stick with buying Neurotin, because it's cheap. <laughs>